Wait, is it happy? Because this is a grumpy groundhog. Well, I wonder why he's grumpy. You know, I auditioned to be the groundhog. You did, Olivia the ostrich, but you're an ostrich? Oh, but I'm very versatile. Of course you are. You know, I studied at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, and I'm the leading lady of ostrich theatre. So with credentials so stellar, yes, how did they not give you the groundhog role? Oh, well, they did. But... Oh, 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 I'm not on the cover. Oh, easy explanation. You see, I turned it down. The hours were terrible. I couldn't oh, miss my beauty sleep. You know, as divas and our beauty sleep. Oh, that's right. The groundhog does have to get up quite early to see if we're going to do the, the shadow or the sunshine or the spring or the winter thing. Let's see what's wrong with this groundhog, though. Looking quite grumpy despite getting the groundhog gig, which apparently is pretty good if somebody as high quality as Olivia the Ostrich is and auditioning for it. Let's see what is happening here, grumpy groundhog. Oh, let's see. Oh, do not disturb. Oh, and there's some snoring happening here already. The mayor stood before Groundhog's door and heard a rumbly, tumbly snore. Groundhog, he said, you're sleeping late. This is no time to hibernate. The people added with a shout, it's Groundhog Day. Please come out. Please come out. Please come out. Hooray, it's Groundhog Day. Happy Groundhog Day. Wake up. Do not disturb. <laughs> Snore hard. Humbug. Humbug? Do we have a Scrooge Groundhog this year? The mayor pleaded, I'll ask once more. <laughs> Won't you open up this door? Please come out and greet your friends. Groundhog Day is here again. I won't come out. The groundhog said, I'm closing my eyes and staying in bed. What? He has one job, one day a year, and he wants to take the day off? Groundhog Day, look at that. There's a contract. It's official. February 2nd at dawn, signed by the mayor, paw printed by the groundhog. There is an agreement in place, people. <gasps> I have an idea, said a boy in the crowd. He stepped to the front and spoke up loud. Give him a paper to read in bed. That's it, said the mayor, nodding his head. You think the news will kind of get him going? Well, let's see. Groundhog opened his sleepy eyes. The morning times was a nice surprise. The groundhog took a very long time reading the paper line by line. Groundhog won't come out. Crowd waits. Extra, extra. Hmm. Really enjoying seeing himself in print. The people in town said with a shout, It's Groundhog Day. Please come out. Please come out. Please come out. It's Groundhog Day. So won't you please come out. Come out now. It's Groundhog Day. Wake up. Uh, is this guy going to come out? We're going to be late for school. It's getting cold out here. My cocoa is cold. Wow. The mayor dropped to his knobby knees and begged the groundhog, Come out, please. I won't come out, the groundhog said. I'm staying in here until I am fed. Oh, he's making demands now. I know what to do, a little girl said. Give him the groundhog breakfast in bed. <gasps> Breakfast in bed works like a charm every time. I mean, mom loves it on Mother's Day, so... They served him food on a fancy tray. Coffee and toast and a flower bouquet. Ooh, that toast looks nice and buttery and some hot coffee to get him going. And oh, and, and do I even see some salad or is that like a fruit plate right there? Oh yes, this will do the trick. Groundhog poured coffee from the pot. This coffee is good. It's nice and hot. Ah, yes. Sip, sip, sip. Enjoying the flowers, getting your energy going. Come on, Groundhog. The people in town said with a shout, It's Groundhog Day! Please come out! Please come out! Please come out! It's Groundhog Day! Won't you please come out? I won't come out, the Groundhog said. It's nice and warm in my cozy bed. What? 
A girl yelled, get him slippers to wear. His bedroom floor is chilly in there. Of course, said the mayor, find him a pair. His little tootsies are cold and bare. That's it, that's the solution. Groundhog never had slippers before. He did a jig all the way to the door. He twirled and shouted, look at me. I'll step outside on the count of three. <gasps> Finally, the bunny slippers. That was the magic. The crowd yelled, one, two, three, come out. Ta-da, he said, looking about. He blinked from the lights and the camera's glare. A child said, give him sunglasses to wear. All the flash, all the paparazzi there for the groundhog on his big day. Hooray, said the mayor. No shadow today. The chilly weather is going away. The groundhog said, it's a wonderful day. I'll ask the children if they want to play. And everybody's like going crazy now because he's finally out. I mean, the suspense. Do you think he did it on purpose to like really heighten the drama? I feel like that's probably what happened. Also, he got breakfast out of the deal. He got coffee. He got bunny slippers. He got the paper. I mean, he's going to pull this trick every year now. You know that. Let's make a snowman, the children cried. Groundhog had fun being outside. They made a snowman round and fat. It looked very nice in the mayor's hat. At the end of the day, the groundhog said, it's time for me to go back to bed. I had a fun day with all my friends. When spring comes early, I'll see them again. Well, he fell asleep fast. And that was the tale of Grumpy Groundhog. I wonder what made him grumpy in the first place. I guess mornings just weren't his thing. They are certainly not my cup of tea, but you see why, storyteller. Well, I did see why. I mean, he had to get up early, but he kept everybody waiting like a diva himself. Maybe you could have had the job after all. Hmm, you're giving me ideas, storyteller. Wait, I'm an ostrich. Oh, Green Bear, you're early for your Listen, I, I just want to say that I'm glad you're not the groundhog. Oh, why not? Because then you wouldn't be able to be my teacher, and you're a really good teacher. Oh, 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 oh you are such a charmer, Green Bear. <laughs> oh, shoot, she's totally awesome. I know, she's pretty dramatic, isn't she? Yeah, and so am I, so we really go well together. Okay, well, I gotta go. I gotta practice my lines because I don't want to have a grumpy ostrich teacher. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I know what you're saying. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time. And of course, happy Groundhog Day. Mm -hmm.